So revisiting where I was assuming this also had a timing um, issue. This has an interesting back and forth oscillating uh, 15 uh, class 15 bobbin case design. So um, a little different. So, um, let's see, can we get some zoomage? There we go. As you can see, I have my tensions way off, and I considerably began tightening the bobbin case because I usually just go by the string, um, can suspend the bobbin in the case without unwinding. This machine seems to need it a little bit tighter than that, quite a bit more tighter, where I just basically go by that first part was maybe a one where it's suspending, holding itself. I just kept tightening it so I get into this little range here, three to five, uh, to get into the midpoint. So I just kept tightening the bobbin case with what appeared to need the more tightened uh, bobbin case is these uh, widest zigzag <coughs> and uh, closest stitch. Uh, this is uh, almost a one and uh, yeah, almost a one and then we're at a, the six. So I was seeing, you can see how it's uneven, they start tightening it up more, and then you can see where I thought the timing might be the issue, there's an offset, but it seemed to get closer, and I ran out of, uh, actually it'd be the other way around, as I it kept tightening it, seemed to get a little closer, more, more even, but you know, not as uneven and erratic as, as prior, then I ran out of space on that side, so I started over here. And I was like, man, I am so close. I, I got to tighten the bobbin case a little more. Actually, I did two stop there, and then again, and then one more, tighten it down. And uh, actually, I just left that at like four, and just was like, okay, I'm just going to, because I was at three or so, and let's just see what happens to get that tightened. Boom, there it is, beautiful. Looks even, too. I don't, am I right? I think I got it right there. So I think this is dialed in now. So I'm going to do a quick uh, other stitch pause and uh, just a straight stitch and see how that looks. Um, I don't know how that's going to perform. We'll see. Dun, 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 the moment of truth. I don't know. You know, you have to remember I'm not using fabric. I think it's time to switch to fabric. Uh, paper towel, the needle holes, hard to tell. I think this is right. This looks good. Like I started off. Uh, there we go. You know, that's on the edge and it's crinkling and causing issues with paper towel, but this looks good. I think I got it. I don't know if stuff caught in here. I should look before I started. Yeah, I think this looks great. I'm, I'm going to go with this is great. I should have reversed. Remember, kids, reverse at the end of your stitches. Reverse at the beginning and reverse at the end. I'm not a seamstress. I don't sew. I just do the machine tuning. And, and trust me, I do it free nonprofit. I am no way an expert. I am not necessarily an idiot. At, I am at first at, about this stuff. Definitely stupid, but not super stupid. So, you know, like, whoa, just don't. Um, and amazing when you get back into the jive of things, remember how things actually work. You know, you don't even need the manual as much, but that's how. So, okay. Um, oh, and I wanted to note too, when I threaded this, I might be have threaded it wrong, but this time I did a little different where I went behind, um, and that little hook down there. Then I came up and I went over into this little loop here. Then I came down, looped back up, came through, went down. Caught down here, right there, there's a spot also behind that, and then around here and up front, then threaded back through. So that's how I uh, threaded this. So I just want to document that, and I think we're good to go. I'm going to pause and do some, do material real quick. Maybe I'll do that real quick when I'm long-winded on this. Okay, a little continuation with um, four layers of this, not the heaviest. Uh, it's like a pajama bottom poly fleece and actually pretty good i think it did pretty good um it's definitely tight for that thickness and i can't go any lower on the presser foot but this is a very awkward piece that's you can see it's like a slit and an angle cut so you know i like transitions of the material it was really looking good when i got a little too close um so the attention's right. And uh, so I did a straight stitch in here somewhere. Did I sew over it? I might have sewed over it. 
Yeah, I think I sewn over it. They had a straight stitch in there too, and that looked really good also. This was kind of feeding a little funky, but right in here I tried switching the stitch length and... Uh, no, excuse me, it must have jumped. Somewhere in here I tried switching the stitch length. I made it down to uh, a little under one. I thought it was. There's one. Where's a little... Um, is that like two-ish? But these stitches are from the 1010. Yeah, <laughs> the feed, I think, I think the, the feed dogs, they don't, yeah, the feed dogs aren't polished, but I could see, like, running a file on them, it might not be good for fabric, but I could see getting a little more, a little more catch on those, they don't feel like, some feel almost sharp-like, these don't feel sharp, they feel dull, but the worst ones are, like, the Dressmaker 4800, I think it was? Uh, 7,000, one of those two are like so polished, even though there's like the diamonds there, the knurling. Um, it was just like free motion quilting that didn't grab, so this is not that bad, but I can feel it doesn't feel that great. But anyways, I'm just going to call her good. I might mean, maybe try stitching a little bit. I got a little pile of scraps there, just to see how it turns out, but I'm going to think it in the video at six minutes. Be safe, stay until next time. All right for now. Keep Christ with you.